could call them fast foreclosures. Starting this fall, hundreds of homes will be bulldozed in Franklin County. Today, the county prosecutor filed the first of a new type of speedy foreclosure. 400 more of them could come in the next few weeks. One year ago, Matt Talbot left German Village and moved into a renovated house downtown on Ann Street. But he lives next door to this. Two dilapidated homes dropping siding like a snake shedding skin. It doesn't help to have what looks like, you know, drug houses <laughs> around the neighborhood. <laughs> so I really can't wait for him to get torn down. County Prosecutor Ron O'Brien and County Treasurer Ed Leonard say help's on the way. These houses will be among the first of 400 to be demolished this year. All are blighted and all owe back taxes. So these will uh, seek to be acquired uh, under a law that was recently adopted by the legislature that has a short fuse. O'Brien says under the new law and with a judge's foreclosure approval, 46 days after papers are filed, the county or the city land bank gets the property. And then it can start demolition. We want to respect people's property rights, but we also have to make sure that we move these as quickly as possible. What we hope is that by eliminating these blighted properties, we can actually improve property values in neighborhoods. The money for the work, around $16 million, comes from the Attorney General's settlement with Bank of America. For neighbors like Talbot, the teardowns can't come soon enough. The image of the neighborhood has been slowly going up. To get the shadier looking buildings out of here will definitely help. It will help. And Ed Leonard hopes that once those eyesores are gone, developers will come in and start building new homes there that will also raise property values of the neighborhood.